let me tell you this, okay? The raid on Mar-a-Lago, uh, Donald J. Trump, our former United States president, okay, his mansion in West Palm Beach, Florida, by the FBI, if it doesn't deliver the goods, okay, meaning like, you can't, like, you have to try to all understand something. You can't just raid a former United States president's home and nothing comes of it. Something has to come of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they have to have some kind of severe evidence that will be so severe that it could even lead to potentially, allegedly, criminal charges. We don't know. Because if it doesn't, because if it doesn't, okay, then this was all done, most likely people are going to assume, as a political witch hunt to take him down. And I think it's going to seal the deal for him to win the presidency in 2024. Because, like, think about it. How bad does it look on the FBI part, okay, the Department of Justice, the Biden administration, that you're going to raid a former United States of America, the president's home. You're raiding his home, the FBI. And nothing comes of it. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so... They just, they might have just, what they were trying to do, right, was probably try to, you know, make Trump look bad. You know, they were trying to make Trump look like someone that's not fit to be in office, but they might have just did the complete, utter opposite, and it might just completely now screw up the Democrats for what they just did. So unless they deliver the goods, unless they deliver, if they deliver the goods, that's different. But if they don't deliver the goods, let's go, Brandon, Donald J. Trump is going to win the presidency in 2024, in my opinion. That's it.